Welcome <clears throat> and good evening. On behalf of Melanie and Eric and their families, I welcome you all to this splendid and gorgeous day. It is because of all of you here today, this strong, nurturing community of friends and family, that Eric and Melanie's relationship has strengthened and grown, leading them to this very moment. It's no accident that you were invited here today. Each of you are important in the individual and collective lives of Eric and Melanie. The Reedy and Sutton families are deeply grateful for your attendance. Thank you all for being here. I believe I've met most of you, but I am Dennis Perkle, a longtime neighbor and a good friend of the Reedy family. My wife Kay and I had the wonderful catbird seats across the street from them, watching the Melanie, Melanie and Jessica grow up, and the fine young ladies they've become today. I'm also a St. Thomas College grad, not a U, and I hold that connection with Melanie as well. And eventually, when Melanie thought it was right for us to meet Eric, we got to know Eric as well. I'm very honored to be officiating what I call the most momentous event in your lives. So, marriage is perhaps the most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive and learning to appreciate your differences, by learning to make the important things matter and letting go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to bear witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as life mates and partners. <clears throat> your journey began long before your printed invitations, chose this beautiful venue where we are here today, and even decided to spend the rest of your lives together. Your journey began the moment you first met. You put in the effort to learn what makes the other person smile, what makes them laugh, and how to support them when life is less than simple. You welcome each other as families, communities, and lifelong friends, and join them together with warmth and enthusiasm. Eric and Melanie are pleased to have their parents front and center, close to them for their wedding ceremony. Melanie thanks her mother and father for providing her with every opportunity possible and being the best parents anyone could hope for. Eric appreciates all the love and support his parents have given him over the years as well. Now I'd like to invite Eric's mother, Lisa, up to share a reading that Melanie and Eric have chosen for today. Reading from Romans. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. It was nice and succinct and to the point. Very nice. Um, I'm going to share a few moments now that some of the friends have put notes together about Eric and Melanie. And uh, I'm going to start with the experience I had with Melanie. John took a couple neighbors to a dinner in Wisconsin about 30 miles away. And he was smart enough to have the girls come pick us up and give us rides back. So I spent a half an hour alone with Melanie in the car. The question I asked Melanie was, and I said, you don't have to answer this if it makes you uncomfortable, but I said, Melanie, is your father still the most important man in your life? And there was this pregnant pause, and I knew that, okay, no matter what she says, I already know the answer, that there is somebody. And so she's told me, and we talked about Eric for most of the ride home. But when we get home, she goes, oh wait. You hear Melanie say, oh wait. She always says, but wait. She said, but wait, my parents don't know yet, you can't say anything. So I swore into the secrecy. I figured maybe Jessica knew as well, but I was sworn to the secrecy. And eventually we got to know Eric, and here we are today. Another thing that's very important to, the, to, the, to both of these folks is that they're, they're very family focused. It's very, almost every Sunday afternoon, the, the Reedy driveway is full of cars. Everybody's coming home to cook, laugh, and have some merriment. And if they're not there, they're at the lake. So what some of your friends said about you was very similar. They fell into three main areas. The first is, they said, how about you two? They're the perfect match, parallel, always on the same team. You bring out the best in each other. That's about self, about others. You're the most caring couple they know, with each other and also with your family and friends. You're very supportive, you're very trustworthy, you're personable and sincere. Several feel very safe and share their most private and intimate parts of their lives with you. That's quite an honor. The third thing it says adventurous might be why we're here today. A little adventurous, 
You're easy going and you're hospitable. Foodies, cooking, always learning, always making something. And then the word billies came up. I don't know what that's about, but I think most of you know. It was supposed to be an adjective. Is billies an adjective? It says wine and pizza, Thursday night facial snaps with masks. Whatever that is, I think that must be for the younger kids, not for the adults. And then Ashley, um, who can be here today, I guess, she summed it up best by um, referring to a love uh, verse in the Bible from Corinthians. And it goes like this. I've summarized it. Love is patient and kind. Love is not envious, boastful, nor proud. Love is not self-seeking nor easily angered. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. Love always protects, trusts, and perseveres. Love never fails. Remember that love never fails. Melanie and Eric, did you come here freely, without reservation, to give yourself to each other in marriage? If so, answer, we do. We do. And will all of you whom are uh, present here today surround Eric and Melanie in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in marriage? If so, answer, we will. We will. It is now time for the vows. We've come to your point in your ceremony where you're going to state your vows to one another. No other vows are more sacred than those you now assume. By keeping your vows here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but only out of the desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, your life will have joy, freedom, and responsibility. Melanie and Eric, you have each prepared your vows. You will recite them now. Melanie, you're going to go first. Great. Eric, you are my best friend and love of my life. Your kind heart, generous nature, and wonderful sense of humor makes it incredibly easy to love you. In the past four years, my love has never wavered, and I promise it will never will. So, this afternoon, in front of many of our loved ones, I stand before you um, today to vow the following. I vow to support your dreams and respect your differences. During every stage of our life, I vow to appreciate you, challenge you, respect you, support you, as your best friend and now as your wife. I vow to be happy for you when the Packers win and not make fun of you when they lose. <laughs> I vow that laughter will always be heard in the house. I vow to be patient and forgiving, even when I'm hungry. <laughs> I vow to keep things in perspective on the most important things in life. I vow to always adventure to you, even if her adventure is as small as walking a few blocks to Billy's. <laughs> I vow that when we are old and gray, we will look back on our lives together and have no regrets. And most of all, I vow to love you. I see these vows not as promises, but also as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, dance with you and sing with you. I get to build with you and I get to live with you. Melanie. Since I've known you, you have brought a warm, bright light into my life. When you're by my side, jokes are funnier. Moments are more memorable. Tough times are a little easier. And most importantly, I feel completely comfortable being myself. You offset my weaknesses and complement my strengths. Over the past four years, you've helped me know and understand myself better. Looking toward the future, there is no one else who I would rather have be my partner and equal in life. I've been lucky enough to call you my classmate, girlfriend, best friend, fiance, and with joy, today, I take you to be my wife. I vow to always try to be on time, even though from time to time, I may still run a bit behind schedule. I vow to support all of your dreams and ambitions, I vow to be empathetic to your feelings, emotions, and needs, and to encourage your happiness. Your endless smiles and unwavering positive outlook on life pick up everyone around you. I vow to do my best to keep our marriage fun and exciting, and our relationship healthy through good times and bad. I vow that when we are old, we will look back on our lives with little regret. I vow to be honest and to strive for clear communication especially when communicating is the hardest. I vow to always be a good sport for surprise pictures and photo shoots, and to take great pictures with good lighting. 
I vow to be a compassionate and nurturing father. I vow to always view and treat you as my equal. I vow to love you unconditionally, without reservation, comfort you in times of distress, encourage you to achieve your goals, laugh with you and cry with you, grow with you in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with you and cherish you. Together, we can accomplish larger goals, experience higher highs, and endure tougher hardships than I ever could alone. Okay, you've declared your vows. Do you, Eric, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. Do you, Melanie, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. Eric, I give you this ring to wear it as a reminder for my love to you. Okay. Melanie, I give you this ring that you may wear it as a reminder of my love for you. By the power of your love commitment, it is my special honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I am pleased to present to you the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Sutton.